It's week eight of the National Football League. And this one features Eric Kendricks, who's really been a force from his linebacker spot, now up to 10 sacks this season. It's the Patriots and the Dolphins. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, here's Gaughan. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But you look at this Patriots defense. They were terrific last week against Buffalo in that victory. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. This defense for the Patriots, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions. And especially, just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. For a Miami Dolphin. First and 10 at the 45-yard Off play action. Here's Goff. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Out of the gun, gone. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. You know, last week it was unbelievable how many times they were in the backfield. They had seven sacks. Whatever they had for pregame meal last week, maybe they had it again. I think they're going to continue to repeat it if they keep this up. But remember, we were at their facility, and we walked past the defensive meeting room, and what did it say over the door? Rush the passer. It's a philosophy. It's a statement. That's who they want to be, and they've been very successful with it. Yeah, an opening drive sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw out wide, he's incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, 
Somehow, ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State. The former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. Chubb with the first down carry as he'll get about three out of it. And they get second and seven coming up. Now these two teams you might remember met in Foxborough earlier in the season with the Patriots winning that ball game. So they're looking for the season sweep with a win here in Miami. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We can look at this defense. They're a unit that enters play way down to the 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And it's good to talk all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play. And this will be caught at the 30. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big play there for New England. 49 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. That's out to Chuck complete. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Second down and six now. They'll throw again. Cousins. There's another catch by the running back, Nick Chubb. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Cousins now. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10. He got nine. Fourth down. Cousins. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. That's complete right around the eight. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. A minimal gain as we tick down inside a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Cousins on third and two. Under pressure now, he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Cousins in the offense is going to stay out there. They're going to try on fourth down. Throwing his Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. 
as they've got it as we resume action. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes probably not think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now Cousins. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So now first and ten as they crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Play action now. Cousins rolling to his left. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. On first and 10, Cousins. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Cousins. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. Now Chubb running right. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Throwing. Cousins. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. So first and goal and a chance to make amends for the earlier pick six. A run for Nick Chubb. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Toward the pylon caught. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. O.J. Howard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Cousins will try and throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So what do you think the mindset was there? You can tie it with a PAT here first half. Why go for the lead right now? The old school mindset says if you have a better team, you just go ahead and continue to try and dominate. There's also a school of thought if you don't think you're quite as good, you have to try and take advantage of opportunities. And finally, I just think this is analytics coming into the game. Someone saying the more you go for two, the better your chances are of actually getting them. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Goff now to throw. Able to shake him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing on third. Goff. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that's caught at the 25. A big play there just before halftime. 42 yards. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now Goff on first down. Here's a screen now for Pollard. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, here's Goff. Over the middle here, it's held in by Watson. Touchdown, Dolphins! Christian Watson, his second touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more of going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get in the field goal range. A first down throw for Cousins. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tap. Let's go over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. A second down throw for Cousins. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Defense! 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 To throw, Cousins. To Jefferson on the slant. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Dolphins will end on their lead. So not the greatest of first halves for him, but a little way of right here at the end. The late turnover becomes three points before the break. Well, they certainly needed something positive to go their way. Maybe three points didn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, but at least it's something to build on as they head into the half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, but it's going to be second down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half, Cousins. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? 
And here on the road, that could be a huge score for their morale in the second half. Every team has confidence going into the start of games, but sometimes you get it rocked a little bit. And this certainly applies here for them. But guess what? Just what you said, this touchdown can give them their belief back that they can win in the second half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it's the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. Brock Purdy with a touchdown pass. From there, it's off to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Allen Robinson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Garrett Wilson leading the way with three touchdown catches. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback, Jared Goff, who had command of the offense. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of game plan and also hydration, because the humidity is really going to catch up to these guys, no doubt. And for the call of the second half, we go back to Brandon God. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Justin Jefferson and the rest of this offense, they've got their helmets back on and they're ready for this next series. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where road becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways down. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This one into the hands of the rookie Luke Musgrave. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A give to Pollard running left. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 12-yard line. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. If you're going to run against this unit, especially down here, just beware. I mean, they're the top rushing defense in the league. Yeah, and then they go ahead and they double down with the whole thing because you think, okay, let's throw the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. They defend the pass pretty well, too. Very difficult task right now. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, 
the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point try now from Dicker. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a three yard scoring run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. New England trying to get to place on offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And a third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. They will bring it back. It's a pick six and the Dolphins touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate. And those defenders got to add to the lead directly. That's your point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Returnable here for Davis. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. New England's offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. To throw is Cousins. There's another catch by the running back, Nick Chubb. So the completion good for just three. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Fights through him. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Again, it's Cousins. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, here's Cousins. Flushed out right. That's out to Chubb complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be left with second and a couple. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Here's Cousins. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 
Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. Now a second and six. Here's Pollard again. Taking it right down Broadway. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 67 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. On first down, it's gone. Who finds his receiver, Watson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. Pollard, he'll take it up the gun. Oh, able to avoid him. He's still on his feet. And he gets this all the way down to the Patriots 13. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Over the middle complete. That's Smith. Touchdown. Devontae Smith from 13 yard town. And the Dolphins look like they're about to put an end to their two game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Trying to bust down to that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. Extra point. yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21 the Patriots ready to try again on offense this one certainly has not gone according to script you would have thought on paper that this offense would have its way here but they certainly have not and they trail big after this it figures to be a quiet trip home and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now it's the backup Smith. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Gino now to throw. Catch is made by Hardman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 42. First down. Smith. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. They go with Chubb on second down. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But backed up here, tough spot, needed 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Smith. Ball had his 
his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 120 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down at a yard. Goff now to throw. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 34. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now a give here to Pollard. And from the 9, they get this to the five-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here comes third and about a foot. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. You got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go do the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Second and goal from the one. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Now here's Pollard, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked at the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.